Among the well-known paintings of America is American Gothic. You've likely never matched the painting with the name, and if you're like me, you've assumed this was a married couple, likely from a farm in Indiana, when actually this is said to be a man and his daughter from Iowa. John B. Nisi, the professor of art his history at the Queen City College in New York, said, states that American Gothic was created for the annual art exhibition at the Art Institute of Chicago in 1930. The artist, Grant Wood, had created this, this painting with oil on beaver wood, which is a thick cardboard-like substance. He did not win, except for the Norman Waite Harris Award of $300, which is like winning $4,000 today. The, however, the winners, the winner was Heinz Warnicke. He won $2,500, which is like $34,000 today, with the water carrier. And he, like all the other winners of the contest, except for Grant Wood, are virtually unknown today. Drs. Beth Harris and Dr. Steven Zucker of the Khan Academy Deans of Art and History explained that the artist Grant but Wood was born on a remote farm in Iowa. He had two brothers and a sister. They were very isolated and had strict parents. He did not fit in with his brothers and his dad because he was, a so he was softer than the other males, so he became very close to his mother. His father died when he was young. Carol Colleen Carroll explains that in her article that he left home to study art in Minneapolis and eventually studied at the Art Institute of Chicago for a short time, the same place that will later buy his painting. He then joined the Army during World War I, but stayed state stateside as a camouflage painter. After the military, he taught in many different schools in the Iowa area and traveled to study painting in Europe, mainly Paris. He studied the Fresh Impressionist and the Post Impressionist. He set up a studio, Five Turner Alley in Cedar Rapids. He produced many more paintings, including Breaking the Prairie, which is the second most famous painting, The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere, and Young Corn, which is not which is not featured. This painting was said to be created a year before he created American Gothic. And it's um, the name of the painting is Woman with Plants, and it's said to be his mother. This painting is representational and part of an art movement of the 1930s called Regionalism. Bernard Perlman, an author and retired professor and chair of fine and applied arts at the Baltimore Community College, states regionalism focused on country rather than city and farms instead of urban subjects. He died in 1942, one day before his birthday, according to Carroll. The subject matter is a man and his wife standing in front of their home in rural America. It was created using art oil, as I said, and the woman and her clothing are very smooth and finished. It's hard to tell that it's even a, a painting because he used short, short, short brush strokes. The man, however, has a much rougher appearance, and there's definite gaps in his clothing. This was likely created with long, longer, harder brush strokes. The woman is seen looking away at something that's not seen. However, the man is looking more, looking directly at us, and his face has more wrinkles. While the home is in Iowa, the name American Gothic states it could be any home in America. The name Gothic is this window. Nisi explains that this was generally ordered from Sears and Roebuck, Roebuck catalog and facilitated people moving furniture in and out of the, of the top story windows because the stairways were much too narrow to bring furniture in and out. There are plants on the porch as you look back, and there's a barn in the background. I also noticed later, in the background, of there's very geometric, geometric trees. While everything else is very detailed, the trees in the background have a very round geometric shape. And there's also a home sticking out back, um, a lightning pole for a home sticking out back here likely contributing to the um, isolation. All the elements work together to create a very balanced painting. The subject matter is a couple in the American dream of their home. Upon looking up information on the American Gothic website, a website to accompany the attraction and visitor center for the home, they mention the window has two equal arches. 
And those arches are capped by an ollie shaped pane that joins them together at the top. If you look at the painting in its entirety, the window is duplicated by the two halves being the man and his the man and the woman, and they are capped by the arch of the roof. The, it joins them together the same way the oddly shaped glass joins the two arches of the window. Perlman notes that there are also a tie between the people in the house and that the, the curtains are made with the same material as the woman's as the woman's dress. One thing um, regarding shape, there's a pitchfork. If you notice on the man's dress, the same shape is duplicated there. It's unsure if this is just a, simply a farm element or if it's stating more about the reason why the man's holding the pitchfork. Dr. Harrison Zucker stated models were actually his, his, his dentist and his sister, and they did not even pose together. Wood had told people at the time there was a man and his daughter, though many view this as a man and his wife. Are they mocking the Midwest or showing it for what it is? Dr. Harris states, if you're a city person, you say, oh, he's mocking the Midwest. And if you're from the Midwest, you say, he's one of us. He's showing us for who we are. However, Dr. Zucker states the opposite could be true. Easterners look at the painting and said, oh, that's who, they, that's who we are. That's what they're like. And Iowans were worried that they were being mocked. According to the art story, Modern Art Insight, Clement Greensburg, likely the single most influential art critic of the 20th century. He supported the abstract expressionism and expressive movement, expressive art with profound, profound emotion and a universal theme. He favored art such as this. He said of the American Gothic and Grant Wood in Nisi's book, and when one has exposed oneself long enough to contemporary art, one begins to re to realize that the unsuccessful pictures of a good many abstract painters are more interesting than the most brilliantly successful pictures of such painters as Grant Wood. He went on to say, Wood was among the most notable vulgarizers of our period. They offered us an inferior product under the guise of art. A personal view of the mother is I noticed that th there are so many similarities between the mo between what is said to be his mother and the woman in this painting. They're both looking off in the distance. They both have similar hair hairstyles. The the collar is the same even though it's a different color, and the pennants are similar. They each have long sleeves on and a similar dress with similar um, hem around the edges. Also, in this picture, there is a plant called a mother-in-law's tongue, and also in this picture, she's holding a mother-in-law's tongue. American Gothic House quotes Wanda Korn that this may that the mother-in-law's tongue is a very hardy, hardy plant, and this may symbolize the hardness of the American pioneer woman. He had great respect and reverence for his mother. We're unsure why she's looking at way, uh, perhaps avoiding judgment. Man in con the man on contrast is looking straight at you. His face shows, and he's unsure of emotion. The symbology of the pitchfork that's reinforced in his overalls is interesting. Personally, I believe that this uh, symbolizes his father and the sternness that he had with him. He's looking straight at him, possibly judging him. And this was perhaps the whole uh, painting of American Gothic is a painting that could have been many, uh, many years before it existed when his father was still alive. The, uh, the American Gothic website says that many people recognize the painting, but hardly anyone has ever seen it in, in real life. Because of the high visibility, it's easily easy to make a parody of it. With a few simple changes for the times, hairstyles and dress, it can be easily be changed. Here's, um, though there's hundreds of them out there, here's a few. This is Barbie and Ken, Roseanne Barr and her husband, The Simpsons, and Miss Piggy and Kermit. American Gothic is one of the most recognized works of art in America, an oil painting on Beaverwood. While the couple is said to be a man and his daughter, there is speculation on that. 
Part of the movement called Regionalism, which this is part of, depicts scenes in the Midwest. There are so many interpretations of this painting, but which one is correct? There is an obvious tie to the house and the, sim and the positioning of the people in the pattern of the window. The pitchfork and the repeated pattern of the pitchfork in the man's dress could symbolize um, the sternness of his father and his, um, his wanting him to appreciate him. Some view it as showing the Midwest for what it is. Others view it as a mockery. Recent regionalism was in definite conflict with the avant-garde movement of that time, making some not appreciate it. In the end, it's, interesting, it's an interesting painting to observe, and I've discovered many things while viewing it. We're excited.